so welcome back guys I'm a little sick as you can hear in my voice but I'm pretty sure it's just a normal normal cold so yeah as you can see the water cleared up a lot from the pond and over the weekend we changed a whole lot in the breeding uh, lofts because you know as I said in the last video we don't need to breed any more birds those that are now in the second round loft are the last ones of 2020 so we don't need to breed anymore so these are just the widowing ends as usual but we made some big changes in here as you can see All the birds in here now are cold birds. So we actually moved all the ends out of here and we put them in that loft behind that door. But yeah, as you can see, that's a gray grizzle right there, my favorite bird out of all the birds we have. <coughs> Yeah. There's still gonna be a lot of fighting because some of these birds in here had the nest boxes in that loft, so they're gonna be fighting over which uh, bird takes which. But yeah. As I said, all the hens have been moved out. There's no one breeding. That's actually our best breeder right there. When I say uh, out of our best train, he's, he breeds our best birds. He's actually a two-time ace pigeon. And that's a grey grizzle, my favorite pigeon I always talk, talk about. That's him. That's actually our biggest bird. Although he's quite skinny at the moment. And then going up there, that's a Huben bird. And where's... Yeah, that's a dark grizzle. That's his father. He's from... 2012 and he's from 2014 he's from 2010 he's from 2007 that's our oldest bird so yeah let's go check out the hens now they seem to be enjoying the sun really sunny out at the moment but it's still quite cold so let's try and get them in good lighting most grizzle birds we have are gonna be of the old grizzle strain which is the 2012 bird that's a 16 hen which is gonna be a sister of the big grizzle and that's a Lambrecht hen one of the best flyers and that's the grizzle strain mixed up with the with the ace pigeon strain we have with our best strain beautiful color on that one and that's just a white one we got of I don't know we have had it for a pretty long time and it has bred some nice that's her daughter she did fly pretty well for me when I flew under my own name so yeah that's what has changed in the breeding lot there's still one in there 
because they had uh, young birds and we're gonna give them away to my grandfather's brother, my dad's uncle. So yeah, look how beautiful of a bird that is. Really can't get over how good that one looks. He seems to have gotten his ass handed to him, like some people call it. But yeah, there's still gonna be a lot of fighting over who takes what nest box, so yeah. Of course, with the way, with the wing hands. Take a look at the second round, young bird. There's one squeaker, I think it's that one. They seem to be enjoying themselves gonna open up their aviary so they can enjoy the sun even though it's quite cold so yeah let's check out the first round one A little update on them, we actually did lose four birds around the loft. The hawk attacked the other day again, but I wasn't here, my dad had the young birds out, so... And he attacked them right off the landing board. Did manage to get one, but did manage to get one, but did scare all of them up in the air. And I think like one or two stayed behind then, when he did. And of course, one or two stayed behind or got lost uh, during normal training sessions. That's just how it is. Nothing you can do about that. But yeah. Let's go check out the top loft birds right now, which I don't think is going to be used to fly this year. I think all of the races are going to be cancelled. Maybe if we're lucky they won't cancel the end season of the old birds, but the beginning season are, is going to be cancelled, I'm pretty sure. But they're actually in top condition at the moment. They're looking really well. Might just let them out right now. Just gonna grab the these things. Try 
Just one more. Gone. Yeah, you got it. There they are. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again in a few days.